Welcome back, guys. Today is day 35. My name is Christian with today's Bible reading. If you want to read along, I have the Bible scripture down in the description below. Today we're going to be reading John 11, 17 through 27. Here we go. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away. And many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Father, thank you for um, giving us this word, uh, giving us today. Um, Lord, I thank you for showing us where Jesus is um, coming out and saying he's the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in him shall never die. So, Lord, I just pray right now that you increase our faith, that we may always believe in Jesus Christ and that we should never die but live in him. God, increase our faith today, and I pray that you bless those around us, Lord, that you give them favor. I thank you, God, for always being there for us, always teaching us, always giving us lessons. As you give us this word, Lord, that Lazarus has died and that Jesus will be glorified, that you will be glorified, Lord, that Jesus is already telling them that his brother will rise again. Continue to teach us and guide us. Holy Spirit, speak to us. If anyone listening to this is asking God for an answer and something, I just pray that you remove doubt out of your heart and just believe that he's going to answer you in his timing, but to trust him, not to doubt. Let your will be done, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 36, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you in the next one.